Hello students, in this video we shall discuss question number 2 of exercise 7.5. Question 2 says solve and we have got some addition and subtraction problems of fractions. But these questions are very easy. Let's get started. The first one is 1 over 18 plus 1 over 18. So the denominator is same. Whenever the denominator is same, we just need to add the numerators and that's it. So 1 plus 1 over 18, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 over 18 and if you simplify this, 2 1s are 2, 2 9s are 18, right? I am dividing 2 and 18 by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 18 divided by 2 is 9. Therefore, my answer is 1 over 9. Second one. 8 over 15 plus 3 over 15. Again, same denominators. So simply add the numerators. So that would be 8 plus 3. That's 11 over 15. And that's the answer. See, 7 over 7 minus 5 over 7. Same denominators. So 7 minus 5 is 2. So that's 2 over 7. And it's already in simplest form. So we don't need to do anything. D, 1 over 22 plus 21 over 22. So, same denominators, 22. So, add up the numerators. 1 plus 21 is 22 over 22. Now, we have the same number in the numerator and denominator. So, that means we can write this as 1. Because 22 1s are 22 and 22 1s are 22, right? So, when we have the same number in the numerator and denominator, we can also write it as 1. Next question, 12 over 15 minus 7 over 15. Same denominator, so subtract the numerators. 12 minus 7 is uh, 5. So, 5 over 15. Now, 5 and 15 do have common factors, so we need to simplify this. Say 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15. So the solution is 1 by 3. Next one, 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8. Same denominators, add up the numerators. 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 over 8. And I told you that when we have the same number in the numerator and denominator, that equals to 1. Next is G, 1 minus 2 by 3. Now see here, it's given a whole number 1 minus a fraction 2 by 3. But we know that this whole number can, written as, can be written as a fraction. Now I can write it as 4 by 4, 5 by 5, 6 by 6. Like you can write the same numerator and same denominator and that would give me 1. So what we are going to do here is, here the denominator is 3. So I can write this 1 as 3 by 3. To get the same denominator. So 3 by 3 minus 2 by 3. Now see I have got the same denominator. Now simply subtract the numerator. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 by 3. And that's the solution. Next one. 1 by 4 plus 0 by 4. So we know that when uh, we divide 0 by any number. This term becomes 0. Right. So 1 by 4 plus 0 would be 1 by 4. Because any number added to 0 is the number itself. The last one is 3 minus 12 by 5. Right. So here we can take 3 as 3 by 1. When we don't have any number in the denominator, we take it as 1. Minus 12 over 5. Right. Now to subtract, we need to make the denominators same. So what we can do is we can take the LCM of 1 and 5. So, LCM of 1 and 5 would be 5. So, this is already having 5 in the denominator. We don't need to do anything to this one. The first one, let's convert the denominator to 5. So, for that, multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. 5 times 3 is 15 and this is 5. Okay. Now, what we can do is 15 by 5 minus 12 by 5. Right, so 15 minus 12 would be 3, 3 by 5. 
and this is the solution of the last question that's all for now see you in the next video